Hi everyone, welcome to Mary Educates, where mathematics is made easy. In this video, we're going to have dividing polynomials using synthetic division. But before that, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you for the support. Let's start. Example. Divide the quantity of 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 by the quantity of x minus 4. The first thing that we have to check if the exponent of the variable is decreasing with an increment of 1, just like this one. From x squared, the next term is x to the first power, and here is x raised to 0, which is 1, when we divide by 12, still 12. So basically, the last term always don't have the variable. If we already have that thing, all we need to do is to copy the numerical coefficient of each Term. So in this one, we have the 2, the second one, we have the negative 5, and the third one, we have the negative 12. If we all have the numerical coefficient of this one, we're now going to focus here. You will see here it has minus 4, but when we write it here, it should be positive 4. Just take the opposite of the sign. Okay? Now... The first step, once we already have everything that we needed, is to just drop the first value here. So, this will become 2. Once we have a 2 here, all we need to do is to multiply it here. So, 4 times 2 will give us 8. Done. From form the operation, we have negative 5 plus 8 will give us 3. Another value here, so we multiply it to 4. So 4 times 3, and you place it here, it will become 12. Perform the operation, negative 12 plus 12 will give us 0. The last value here is will be our remainder, since we don't have a remainder. This is 0. If the remainder here, or the last value here is 0, we can conclude that x minus 4 is a factor of 2x squared minus 5x minus 12. Now, what are we going to do with this number? Okay, notice here from, the, from this part going to the left, we have no x, and in the next one we have x, and in the next one we have x squared. We're just going to follow that pattern when we are writing our quotient. So we have here just the positive 3, and the next one should have an x. So this will become 2x. So our quotient is simply 2x plus 3. Let's have another one. Divide the quantity of x to the fourth minus 6x squared plus 5 by x minus 1. Now, as I've mentioned a while ago, you have to check the exponent of the variables and it should decrease by an increment of 1. In this situation, we don't have x cubed here. See, x to the fourth, there should be an x cubed here, then x squared, then there should be an, an x here, and last term don't have a variable. So what we're going to do here is simply add those things. But how? Take a look at this. So I just put a zip plus 0x cubed. Because when you multiply by 0, this will become 0. And this one is 0x. X. So what we're... Now we have to check if we completed it already. So we, I have your x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x and no x since it is already set and it is already complete all we need to do is to copy the numerical coefficient remember if there's no number here it means there is a one so the next one now is zero negative six zero and then five we all have the value here so we're going to focus on this one this is minus 1, so we are going to place here positive 1. Now we can perform the synthetic division. What was the first step again? If you say drop the 1 here, you are correct. 
Since we have the 1 here, we could multiply it here. So 1 times 1 will be placed here. It's 1. Perform the operation. 0 plus 1 will give us 1. Then continue. 1 times 1, place it here. We have 1. Negative 6 plus 1 will give us negative 5. 1 times negative 5, place it here, we have negative 5. 0 plus negative 5 will give us negative 5. 1 times negative 5 will give us negative 5. So 5 plus negative 5 is 0. Again, our remainder is 0, therefore x minus 1 is a factor of x to the 4th minus 6x squared plus 5. Again, the last number here is always the remainder. So now let's go here. Again, how to write this one? The x should be decreasing from here going this way. So the first one don't have an x, so that is simply minus 5. This one should have an x now, so minus 5x. What do you think should I place here? I should place here now 1 x squared because this is x so the next one is x squared since we don't copy the one anymore we just put x squared and the last one will have one x cubed which is the same as x cubed so our quotient will be x cubed plus x squared minus 5x minus 5 okay do you get the idea now Okay, let's have one more. So divide the quantity of x to the fourth minus 2x cubed minus 3x plus 1 by the quantity of x plus 3. Check again. Is there any missing on the variable? Yes. So I have x to the fourth, x cubed, but I don't have an x squared, and I have an x and a constant here. So the same process. We're just going to include the x squared. So x to the 4th, x cubed, 0 x squared, minus 3x plus 1. Now we can copy the numerical coefficient of each term. So this one is 1, this is negative 2, this is 0, minus 3, and 1. We have the value here, so we focus here. This is plus 3. What do you think we should place here? Should be minus 3 okay now let's continue with our synthetic division so again the first step is to drop the first value here so the 1 will be placed here okay then we multiply it now negative 3 times 1 place the answer here we have negative 3 add this 2 negative 2 plus negative 3 will give us negative 5. We have a new value here, so we multiply negative 3 times negative 5 will give us positive 15. So 0 plus 15 will give us 15. Negative 3 times 15 will give us negative 45. Negative 3 plus negative 45 will give us negative 48. Negative 3 times negative 48 will give us positive 144. Add this 2, we have 145. This time, our remainder is not 0, so this x plus 3 is not a factor of this expression. Okay? Now, we have to be careful on this one. Okay? If we have a remainder, we have to write it in this manner. So this is positive 145. It should look like this. Positive 145 all over the divisor, the x plus 3. Okay? And then we finish this one. So we focus here. This one has no variable. Minus 48. This one has an x now. So... Positive 15x, this one should have minus 5x squared, and the last one should be positive x cubed. Okay? So this will be our answer. Okay? 
So at this point, uh, just uh, replay the video if you feel that you need to have a short recall of this. So now we will go if you understand this lesson. Okay, we're going to have your check your understanding. Let's have our first practice. Divide the quantity of x squared minus 7x plus 10 by the quantity of x minus 5. You can pause the video if you need more time. Let's start the time. Time is up, and the correct answer is x minus 2. Next, we have the quantity of x cubed minus 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 divided by the quantity of x plus 1. Again, you can pause the video if you still need, if you still need more time. Okay, let's start the time. Okay, the time is up. So let's have our answer, and the answer is x squared minus 3x plus 1. Let's have another one. Determine the remainder of the quantity of x squared minus 3x minus 1 when divided by x plus 2. Again, pause the video if you need more time. Let's start the time. Time is up. The correct answer is minus 3. Let's have another one. Divide the quantity of x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 2x minus 3 by the quantity of x minus 3. Again, if you need more time, you can pause the video. Let us start the time. Time is up. And the correct answer for this problem is x cubed plus 2 plus 3 all over x minus 3. I hope you gained some knowledge today. Thank you for watching this video. Once again, please subscribe. Remember, it's cool to be wise. Have a nice day, everyone.